Hello, everybody. Welcome back. And uh, today we are starting a new series. We're going to take yep. a look at the boar. Uh, we're looking to do a boar rider for our goblin cavalry. Um, so before we can do a boar rider, we got to do a boar. Yeah, we also want to do like battle boars, I guess, yeah. in a way. Yeah, we're gonna. it's going to be a good time. Yeah. So here we are taking a look. This is my first time seeing it, as always. Uh -huh. And uh, so before I give my review, Josh, go ahead and I guess let me go and give my review. It looks freaking awesome, dude. You like it? Yeah, I like it a lot, actually. It's... Uh, it's really damn good. Okay. I mean, I like, I don't exactly know what to say about it. Like it's, it's I mean, got, kind of walk us through, tell us what you did. If um, you put anything there intentionally or well, any obstacles you ran into or, uh, so the one thing I'm just about some boar anatomy. Well, I did look at, so I was unable to actually find boar anatomy. So I used pig anatomy. I figured it was yeah probably close enough. I mean, I obviously changed it to be more, you know, big and thick and muscular. Um, but, uh, uh, I actually started, uh, with a, a base model of a four-legged animal uh, the ZBrush has uh, like I don't know like stock I guess sure and it was of a greyhound it was just like a very basic greyhound um, I figured it was easier starting with that than just starting with like a sphere or a box so I extruded it and you know if we upload the uh, the time lapse of this you'll be able to see how I turn a greyhound into a uh, into a boar which is interesting but yeah. um, uh the main thing I I guess is the the fur like the 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 long fur was kind of complicated like it was just difficult to make it look good. I don't know if this particularly looks like acceptable or not. I mean, I knew exactly what it was. Yeah, as soon as I saw it. Um. Uh, um. So like the one thing was like I added it in those places, and then I wanted to add it like on more places, but it it ended up looking like way too much. Or if I like so then when I added it a lot, it looked like too much. So then I added little bits of it, and then it looked really sparse and wrong so like i feel like i might need to take some more time to figure out that so i can get more on it and looking good um but yeah yeah i mean i don't know it's it's kind of like a, a more sim simple thing rather than like you know clothing and all that kind of stuff so sure. I, I don't really know what more to talk about with it um so i guess he put a lot of detail on his face man let's look at that what how'd you uh come up with like the ridges and the nose here and give the... me a sec i'll uh i'll pause it when it when yeah. it comes around here I mean, he's like really giving us the glare. Look at that. Yeah. Like I, I tried to, um, I don't know. It was just like a, uh, like I, I saw a lot of the, the, the boars that I saw, um, pictures of kind of had like crinkled noses, I guess yeah. in a way. And so I added those little folds to try to convey like, uh, like anger in a way yeah. as well as sort of, you know, show that the folds as well. I'd be angry too. If I were living with some goblins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, and then I, I added this like simple like you know hair texture around the yeah. whole thing just to to try to help it uh help it look a little bit better. I think it's cool you gave him the, like the the mutton chops, you know. Where oh yeah, on the sides. Yeah, yeah. I I, I kind of like the way it looked with the goatee. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm like I tried to make it look sort of menacing, kind of yeah. like looking at eyebrows. you. Yeah, I'm hoping. Do they that actually that... have eyebrows that are that thick? Um. Or did we do that sort for personality? Of some like, kind of ish. Okay. I just kind of did it because I thought so it took it some creative cool. liberties. Yeah, um, but I got like the little like lids around the yeah. uh, the things. It's kind of hard. It's a lot to, easier to look angry when you have eyebrows. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and like the ears are kind of simple. But like the, the one thing I, I I noticed when I was making this is that uh, a boar's like body shape is a lot more different than other animals. Like for example, most animals have like their four legs, then they got their neck, however long it is, and then they got their head at the end. But when it comes to a boar, from what I was finding, it's just like the four legs and then the head and neck and chest area and everything are all just one large kind of section. Mass, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's I, I guess mainly I just wanted to show like progress on it yeah. um, before we add like barding and all that kind of stuff. Um, do you have any suggestions or things on uh, how you'd want to do the barding or how you'd like to see it? Um. I'm not really sure. I think, well, let's talk about this. So I think first off, uh, I'll just let it go here. <laughs> let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to sign off on this and say, let's go ahead and move it to the next step. Really? All right. Yeah. I don't think a lot of, uh, I mean, if you want to take another pass at it, like you were saying, you think you could do a couple of things a little bit better, like a little extra fur on the, yeah, on I mean, go ahead, but I wouldn't spend too much time on it. I, I think it looks pretty damn good. Do you think the things around the legs are fine? Like the, the yeah, actually, I like that those? a lot. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you think there a... needs to be more coming up the leg or is that, I think you hit up a good balance with it, man, okay. honestly, because um, it's definitely there and noticeable. But it, like you said, it's not over the top. Um, okay. I, I think the 
like the thickness that you chose was really good. I think it'll show up in the print easily. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I like it a lot. Cool. So yeah, so for the next uh, step, or the next stage, like I said, we do want to do two versions of this. We want to have, um, or maybe three. So this this could be the one stage, right? You'd, you'd think if you- uh, Just the basic. Like, you'd have a basic pig that they're basically using for food, right? Yeah. They'd have another one that they use uh, to ride, right? So this will be the cavalry. So I think it'd be really cool if we came up with a, like a goblin saddle. You know that they were actually riding in, but still was very unique to that, like a very goblin-y. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then the last thing I think would be really cool is if you know they use them in battle, like uh, like we were talking about, uh, almost the way that other people would use like war dogs or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can come up with some kind of armor that's kind of spiky. That's just to that you know they just kind of let them get in there and uh, kind of get in the way and create a mess. Okay. And uh, so maybe you know, like I said, some spikes or some edges. You know, something just to, uh, just to, you know, cause some chaos, you know, like if, if this thing charged into a bunch of people, yeah, even he's, if he's going to be causing damage, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, even if he didn't hit them, there might be like a blade on the, on the shoulders off to the side that way in case he grazes you, mm -hmm. you know, there's a little bit of something there. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to the other goblin that we're going to do. Uh, there's one more goblin character we decided to do, which but is going to be like, uh, or actually two more. Yeah, you're right. Oh. So we had the run, but I, I really like the idea of having like a, like a, like a pig trainer. Oh or a, yeah. Yeah. Or, or like a whip. master or whatever you want to call him. Um, yeah, we're probably like a whip and, and something else. So I, I think that would be a cool encounter, um, you know, on the, on the table, like cause your adventuring party enters that, you know, it'd be basically like their section of the cave or maybe it might even be outside. You know, it's like their little stable area and they okay. got the, the one goblin and then you'd have a few of these boars that he can, you know, that are all uh, decked out in some armor and some, some stuff um, Okay, that would be trained to also fight. I think that'd be cool. So for the next one, we probably want to just try to get some like goblin-y barding going on. Yeah. So the, I think uh, if you can do both, if you think you can handle that, if you can the do saddle. the armor and the saddle version. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I think that would be cool. And then uh, the time after that, we'll, we'll look at putting a goblin on them. Okay. And do you think the saddle version can have some armor on it as well? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, think like a lot less of armor the, uh, probably, but a lot of the actual cavalry, you know, they, they all had barding or uh, I think it was, actually, I don't know. They had <laughs> yeah. armor. I don't know exactly yeah. what it's called. Yeah. But they were armored a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think the boar could definitely do it too. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. I like it, man. I don't have anything else to say about it. Cool. Sounds well, it's a short one for us today. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let us know what you guys think. Yes, definitely. And uh, if, th if there's anything, I don't know a whole lot about pig anatomy. So if there's anything, you know, glaringly wrong, please let us know. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think we're good, man. Sweet. Good. Cool. Right. So if you haven't, make sure you subscribe uh, on Facebook or not on Facebook, on YouTube. Yes. And uh, follow <laughs> you us. You can go on, on Facebook too. You if could you want. go on yeah. Facebook. Um, also, uh, our our shop, our website is now live. It is live. Uh, yeah. So our miniatures we've created up to this point are available for purchase finally. Yep. Um, and uh, I guess have a good one, guys. We'll see you on uh, on Thursday. Thank you, guys. See you. Yeah.